Hey guys, Will Nate 35 and I want to introduce you to the newest boat in the family. It is the Pro Boat Recoil. This is uh, a boat I got from Horizon Hobby and uh, looks just like the barbed wire. So uh, why don't we take a look at each one of them. I'll tell you what they all have, what they come with, and uh, if you decide you want to buy a boat like one of these, then uh, hopefully this will help you out to uh, figure out which one you you want to go with. So uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the FT012. This is the uh, boat that I got from Banggoods. Um, it basically has a few things that comes with it. it has the charger. It comes with the battery. It came with a uh, three cell 2200 lipo battery um, and it came with also these things uh, there's a little wrench allen wrench uh, thing of grease it's got this little nose cone to protect the nose and it's got two spare props in here somewhere that's it was hidden in the nose cone here but it comes with two spare props there you go and uh, I think this was for about $119, I believe. So it did come with two nose cones. I put the other one on already, right there. Um, this boat looks pretty cool, I think. This is the transmitter for it. Nothing fancy. Has all the trim settings and under here just like uh, all the other ones uh, we don't have to really look at that so that's the FT-012 racing boat uh, let's look at the atomic barbed wire the barbed wire came with uh, the charger as well um, came with one spare prop see that rubber band uh, a couple of allen wrenches and a balloon also a velcro so you can stick your battery on there this thing came with a 1300 I believe it's a 20c lipo battery okay and now um, let's look at the pro boat recoil the recoil doesn't come with a um, basically with hardly anything came with the charger came with the battery uh, also a 1300 lipo battery and it came with this uh, Pro Boat uh, transmitter. These are all 2.4 gigahertz. Um, and uh, they're, I mean, it's pretty nice. I think it looks just like the, uh, the barbed wire. But again, there's, there's no accessories to this thing at all. There's nothing. All right, so here are the boats with the, uh, their lids taken off. So you can look inside of them. Uh, both the recoil and the barbed wire both have just this one, one top. That's it. Or lid or whatever you want to call this. Um, they both go exactly the same way. You push it in this way. And you have that one little latch on the end to lock it in. Same thing with this one. With the FT-12, you have two. You have this inner lid that's got four little latch things on it. Again, I don't have any idea what that's called, but you can see what that is. And then you put this on top with the one, one little latch thing there. So this is how it looks on the inside. If you saw my other video, I did kind of cover this a little bit, but that's how the 2200 battery fits in there. Uh, it's very snug. It's perfect. You don't need any Velcro on this one. I believe the motor on this thing is also a 2950 Outrunner motor. I could not find anything on it, but uh, I think that's what it is on here. All these boats have the same size motor, 2950. So I believe they should probably all go pretty much the same speed. Uh, slightly over 25 miles an hour. Um, so that's, that's really it. Not much to these things. 
Um, can't wait to try them. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's just give you a little bit more different views. All right, and here's the rear. Uh, these are all set up pretty much the same way. Uh, the only difference really between these three are the fact that these pieces here, and, and I don't know what they're called, um, this and this and the rudder, on the FT-12, it's all plastic. While on the recoil and the barbed wire, those pieces are metal. So, other than that, I'm not sure if that would do much. Maybe this one might be a little bit more on the brittle side where it might break easier. I'm not sure. But, um, that's, that's how they look in the back. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, one last thing, the uh, none of these came with any AA batteries. You'll need that for your transmitter. Both the barbed wire and the uh, recoil only needed four AA batteries, while the FT012 needed six. So um, that's the difference between all of those. And again, they come with no AA batteries, so you will need to get that on your own. So, that's it. This is Will Nate 35 signing off. Have a great day.